I'm Stacy. I'm Lake's mom. This is Kaylee, Lake's oldest sister. Lake is a fighter. Been through more than most people ever go through in a lifetime. About nine o'clock at night, I felt really weird. I felt like he was really low. I let the hospital know that I was coming. They had a team ready for me. They got me to Fargo. I looked at the doctor and I said, I feel like I have to push. And he checked me and he's like, we're having a baby. Probably about 12 hours till I finally got to see him. So then they took me back into the NICU room. The noises, the smells, they're unforgettable. So many beeps and alarms. You could see his organs through his skin. We started our journey at that day one. They give me the, here's the deal, his intestines perved, he has a brain bleed. How much do you want to do for him? Some parents, it's just too much. And I said, you get Sanford over here immediately. I kid you not, the Sanford team was there in 20 minutes. So we spent a total of 137 days in the NICU, seven surgeries. But that first day was literally minute by minute. They did not think he was going to make it. The NICU is such a roller coaster. It's like two steps forward, five steps back. And those were like the hardest days of my life. The Sanford Walls have heard more prayers than any church. I can guarantee you that. But between the RT and the surgeons and the doctors, he tackled every single thing like a champ. I think we were three months in and he was like three pounds. And his primary nurse comes in and she's like, it brought clothes. So we got him dressed. I looked at her and I said, okay, I have to go because I'm going to cry. And I was like, I have a baby. Like you see this miracle who is born at one pound five ounces who grows to be six pounds right in front of your eyes. It's incredible. If it wasn't for the nurses, the RT, the doctors, the surgeon, they're incredible people and they're so kind. Thank you for saving my son's life. I'm going to stand by you.